What up, what up, what up, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Overtime with Naz. I'm your host, Nastradamus. And once again, I'm joined by the lovely Scarlet. Yo! She's over there. It, you call that knitting? Oh, arming. Arming. <laughs> She's making scarves with her arm. Takes nothing but a quick moment. You're listening to Linkin Park Session in the background. One of those cool little tracks that Mr. Han just does his little solo. Unfortunately, the newer album did not have that. Or I don't think they did. They have a track where it's just no lyrics. It's just like an instrumental. But it didn't sound like... Yeah, sorry, there's something in my mouth. It didn't sound like Mr. Han. Anywho... Welcome to another over time. I was gonna say overnight. Overnight. <laughs> another overtime with Naz. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm um, sorry that it's an hour later, but you know it's been a long day. Mhm. And tonight, I guess our topic would be addictions. Those addictions. For me, in my sense, my addiction is collecting. It is such an addiction. What's your addiction, huh? Uh, right now, it would be black milk clothing. Black milk clothing, that is right. Her addiction is black milk clothing. My addiction is collecting. At the moment, it is pop figures. Now, if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook, which is uh, facebook.com slash Lord Nashdamas. Is a bitch. <laughs> then is a bitch is not that. <laughs> you put that on there, probably get like some Nashdamas hater. Uh, probably concocted by you yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah, you made that. Lord Nasa Thomas is a bitch. And you'll see this um, wall of pop figures I have that eventually will grow more and I will have no space. Yeah, if I bring over the rest that I have at my house, he would left, definitely wouldn't have any space. And I'm still waiting for those because I want to have a lot. Now, I never cared about it and now I do and it's becoming such an addiction but let's talk about addictions whether they're good or bad now my addiction granted costs me a lot of money now I don't go out and just spend a lot of money all at once this is a collection that has been made throughout the last few months (laughs) not the last no that yeah yeah that of last few months but in this room in general it's been like, like years, years. yeah last few months so in total yes you can say that a lot was spent and a lot could have been saved but it is my obsession that really doesn't hurt anybody maybe my pockets <laughs> Uh, the latest collection that I got that hurt my pocket is the Vasha Stampede uh, statue, the gunman in black, unlike his red outfit. And uh, I'm not going to tell you the price. It wasn't like a huge scale, but it was still big enough scale that... Yeah, it was between getting that or we're going to get Supergirl and Superman. Play arts. Yeah, and that would have been more than that figure itself, the Trigon figure, so. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be a team effort because I was going to buy one if he bought, he bought Superman, so I was like, oh, if you buy Superman, I'll buy Supergirl. That shows you how much I love Trigon because I just chose that over Superman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello, Jesus. It's so sexy. Guys, it is awesome. If you want to look at it, Follow my Instagram. Haha, <laughs> cheap plugs. Instagram, Nasterdamus. That's mine. And uh, might as well just plug yours to Scarlet Dark Horse. Yep. Is that together or is there an underscore between Scarlet? Uh, underscore under Scarlet's. It's 
double T and then dark horse. There you go. You'll probably see under his. I'm tagged. Yeah, tag the shit out of her. It doesn't matter. But anyways, addictions. We were talking actually earlier about how our addiction is actually better than a really bad addiction like, I don't know, crack, cocaine, meth. Drugs, yeah. You know. Alcohol. I mean, mm -hmm. we have, I have a borderline alcohol addiction, but, you know, it's, it's it got better. I mean, I drink two drinks. At night, during the weekend? Yeah, she doesn't beat me up as much. Yeah. That's what she's trying I to say. say that I run into the doorknob again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like... I tell you, it's like that movie when a man loves a woman with Andy Garcia and Meg Ryan. I don't think your reaction was, what movie? Because you probably never seen it, right? Yeah, it's what movie? You gotta see it. But when a man loves a woman because the wife has a drinking problem, and, and he, he has to deal with it. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf, and then you'll be like... What? Yeah. I know, but I've never seen it. Oh, <sighs> well, you never seen When a Man Loves a Woman. <laughs> when a man loves a woman... Beat the shit out of her. No, he's kidding. Uh, <laughs> so those addictions... Are pretty bad. Let me let me think back on addiction. I guess one addiction around my teen years was wrestling, the basement wrestling phase of it. And that was an addiction. That was like I loved it so much. That's all I thought about in school. That's all me and my friends would think, plan out the storyline for the following Friday, and just always down there on the weekends just throwing down having fun and I actually had like a code for that with other people that wanted to be a part of it I told them yeah you gotta <laughs> do good in school what the hell? yeah I told them it's like you can't be like fucking game bangers or whatever out there you it's gotta like oh you can wrestle but you can't do no drugs <laughs> you can't be game banging out the street. and that just took out everything in wrestling cause we all know wrestling involves steroids and drugs and alcohol but when you're a kid, you don't do that. Well, I thought, my mom was always worried about us wrestling in the basement and if we could get hurt and blah, blah, blah. But my father's re response to her was, it's better down there than them being outside and who knows what they're doing or, you know, what where they're at or we know where they're at and they're okay. And I, the worst that you did was, like, break a window? Several times, <laughs> yes. So that was rule number one, do not break the window. And that rule was broken. <laughs> <laughs> so then, what was it? Soon after that, when I hit college and I finally got a job, I was addicted on buying animes. I was buying animes off of eBay like crazy. That's when I got the Triguns, the Cowboy Bebop, Outlaw Star, Gungrave, uh, Naruto's. You name it. I was, I was getting that like crazy, and then. The DVDs came in, and I, oh my god, the DVD was the biggest addiction I ever had. I, oh, yeah. I can, yeah. yeah. That's still an addiction. You had a panic attack when you saw, when we were at Walmart, and you saw that they had a Winter Soldier cover. Cover. Yeah, now the addiction is Blu-rays. But I've kind of, like, Blu-ray, I haven't gone crazy as I did when I had DVD, because when, when DVD... I was just like buying everything, like every little thing. Oh my god, it's on sale. This is on DVD. This is on DVD. I just bought everything. I had this big, large library that at one point I, I even um, I even started putting them in like alphabetical order or in categories. I even wrote down like how many. I was like, it was a goal of mine to have the most DVDs and shit. Like I almost had like a 300 at one point. I mean, it was crazy obsessive. And I would buy the same movie again if it had a different color. And I still do that with the Blu-rays right now. Mm -hmm. I bought Max Payne twice, Scott Pilgrim twice, Boondock Saints twice, just because there was another cover on it. And I'm gonna do Winter. <laughs> I'm gonna do the Winter Soldier again if I find the one with the Winter Soldier on it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are obsessions. But like we said before, it's better than not doing crack. Or meth or whatever out there. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I know there's people out there who are even obsessed with marijuana. 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 Mary Jane. Mm-hmm. Mary Jane. So for you out there listening, which is probably like two people, I don't know, what is your obsession and why? Yeah, we'll talk about it. Maybe we'll give you guidance. Guidance. How to stop your obsession. I know something could get really crazy. People are obsessed with gaming. Mm -hmm. Like crazy. Like my nephew. My little nephew, this kid, is obsessed with gaming. Like that's all he wants to do with his life. Is game. Yeah, you see? We got one person on here. Uh, uh, Travis. from uh, Actually from my other podcast, uh, One Tree Hill. Check that out, Monday nights. He just said right now, video games. Video mm-hmm. game is an obsession. It is. I had my phases too. I bought plenty of games because I just wanted to play them and they haven't been played. So I guess that's an obsession almost. Video games are an obsession. For these little kids, it's a big obsession. And it's kind of scary because I will ask my mom. Be like, Was I like that when I was a kid? I mean, I loved games. I wanted games. I wanted to play, but... I didn't. I don't feel like I was that obsessed. Like that's all I want to do in my life. And she was like, "No, no, you had a little more sense of control or something." I remember I go outside. I play with my friends. Yeah, but then again, we grew up in a different generation where you wouldn't. Our parents were like more like, "Okay, you have your TV time, but you have to go outside." And we wouldn't go outside because we had friends in the neighborhood and all that fun shit. But oh. nowadays, it's kind of like. Here, sit at the TV, watch TV, shut up, little one. Yep. That's how I feel that most of the generation is right now. Mm-hmm. Just TV oriented. And Technology oriented. Yeah, Scooby's there go. daughter was on her, on his or hers, whatever, iPad or something, mm-hmm. just watching. Um, it's actually pretty cute. We were playing Destiny, and you hear in the background, and you hear the music, the cup song. You know, um, mm-hmm. how does it go? I'm gonna miss you when I'm gone. Yeah. When I'm gone. Uh, miss you when I'm gone. And she's there, and you hear her singing along to it, too. Aww. So it was really cute, you know. It's not too crazy, but, you know, that's our generation where kids are on technology, yeah. on their phones, on their phones as well. We're my, all on. Yeah, how my sister knows how to work most of the technology in our house and my mom doesn't know shit. See? <laughs> See? That's how it is. Uh, uh, we're totally, we're totally obsessed with our phones. Our world mm-hmm. revolves around my, our phones. My phone is on the fritz right now and it pisses me off but I still managed to somehow control it so I could fucking go over the world when your phone messed up. Oh yeah, I went crazy, but it was funny because I had that period where it was two months and I was without my phone and I was fine. But I think it was just because everybody else was without their phone. So And because you well, because your phone was still fine too. That's the yeah, process. That too. It was like, oh my phone is fine. It's just locked up away and I have to get yelled at by people but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Life. Oh yeah, no uh, no, yeah, he's saying about the phone. Phone. And when my phone was messed up, when they found the toilet, son of a bitch. Yeah, I was pretty pissed off too. Why that shit? Cause you feel disconnected <laughs> when I shit. <laughs> what happened? My dick touched the wall. Splash. 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 <laughs> okay. Just you feel like you're disconnected from the world, and you don't like to feel disconnected from the world. And that's crazy. Is it becomes yeah. something that you need to, you do go uh, cold turkey for, mm-hmm. and 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 it's, it's not even something that like hurts your body or anything like that, or you inject it to your body. Yeah, just, you're just like, oh my goodness, what's happening in the world? What's going on with my Facebook? What's going on with my Twitter? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, I haven't updated my Tumblr or my Instagram. It's just like, what the hell? And it's not even something very important, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, Travis once again says, "Stop beating off on the toilet," which is another <laughs> obsession. Yes, I'm sure masturbating is an obsession for a lot of people. Lots of people. I don't know if that was a guy. Probably. 
If you're a guy, more. you will enjoy playing with your penis as well. I mean, I'm a girl, and I like my boobs. But... I thought you were going to say, I'm a girl, and I love my penis. I'm like, <laughs> I, I, what? <laughs> no, I'm a girl, and I like my boobs. I love my boobs. My boobs are awesome. I love your boobs, too. And that's another pod, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that is an obsession. Yes, that is an obsession. And people do, I think they go to rehab for that as well. Yeah, some people say I have a sex addiction, addiction and I have to go to rehab for it because mm-hmm. it's becoming a problem and I'm fucking so many chicks or I'm jerking off too much or I'm watching too much porn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Women do love boobs. Yeah, I mean, when I went to a strip club, it's like, it's cooler to be a girl and go to a strip club because all the strip, like the female strippers or strippers are <laughs> like paying attention to you because you're a girl and they're like, oh, she's not going to touch me, touch me. Not like a guy, so you get boobs in your face. Mm-hmm. And they let you touch you. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. You see, it's sexist. Here we go to another subject. Strip clubs are sexist. Yeah, that's awesome for a girl. Yeah, <laughs> but it sucks for a guy. It's like, get your dirty hands off me, bitch. I come here to see you and hopefully come here. <laughs> no, you'll probably get kicked out of the strip club if you're like just jacking off. And yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. The bouncer will get you. Or Jesus. But... I don't, I mean, I don't know, I'm, sadly, ladies and gentlemen, and big, uh, big surprise, I have not been to one, at all. It's a good thing. Yeah? Yeah. It's good I've never been there? Yeah. Why, because it'll be an obsession too? No, that place is the devil, I gotta check it out for you before <laughs> yeah, we go. Yeah, sure, so sure. Make sure it's all cleansing. Sure, I wanna see boobs food. too, I like boobs too. <laughs> I love boobs. Big, small. Mm-hmm. I was going to say round or whatever, but is there round, any... Round, pointy. <laughs> is there, well, yeah, there are, there are some really pointy yeah, boobs. Yeah, there are like, different types of boobs. And now we just went to the obsession of boobs. Boobs are a great obsession. Yeah, remember that one time we had that hour conversation about Ivy, Kid, Ivy Doom Kitty's boobs with my mom? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was very awkward and interesting and funny. <laughs> Like, are they real? But are they real? It's like, yeah, well, they're real. They're real. They're real. Those kitties sure, man, are real. <laughs> <laughs> there are some big tig old bitties. That's for damn sure. And she thank, she better thank God for those because that got her far. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to lie. I mean, she's a great person. Yeah, she's awesome. like the sweetest person ever. Awesome person. I mean, she does not disappoint. I'm happy... That she's one of the, she's not even a, like a big celebrity, but in the world of conventions and cosplay, she's a, she's a celebrity, and you can just line up, see her, don't even have to do get have or a conversation with yeah. her, chat it up with her. And That's all that it. Stuff. And it's awesome. I and like that it. even makes you want to get something. Like I do want to get something because I, I want to support her. I want to get her calendar. Yeah. I want to get her calendar before the year is out, so I have that. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. It's probably gonna be in your room. Yes. I like the idea of that. <laughs> I wake up. Hello, kitty. Yeah. <laughs> but I just... And that's all they should be. That's all those celebrities should be in conventions. Just let you come up to them, talk, blah, blah, and go on ahead. But, you know, some people really want to make money. But let's go back to com- obsessions and titties. Big old titties. No, he's just saying he loves tits. Oh. I love him so much that I grew a pair of them. Oh, shit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Big ups to Kevin WK. Kevin WK, uh, he has his uh, website called 8bitgeek.com. Definitely check him out. Everything geek, as you can already freaking figure out from it. Everything is geeky. Yeah. It's it's a good site. It's uh, really cool. He always keeps up to date with geek stuff. Um, Big ups to you. Uh, you made me proud. <laughs> Donald, start crying. Oh, I told myself I want to cry. Oh. Uh, get me on one of your pods, and I'm for sure going to get you on Overtime with Naz, Kevin, and also uh, a One Tree Hill. So keep an eye out for that. 
Um, booze obsession. Um, I don't know what else. I mean, I'm trying to think of. I find it funny that as a kid, you're really obsessed with boobs. Like that. That goes to. That goes to some. That that's Freudian. I know. That's entirely. But I think this is about, about to get real deep. That's entirely Freudian. No, but I think about it, like when I hold kids and they're like really attached to your mm. boob area as a girl, and it's funny because you just laugh because they're just kids. But it's just like, oh, hello there, mm. <laughs> wrapped around my bosom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, 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 you know, they say that uh, babies and and they see they know that. Boobs is nurturing. It's, mm-hmm. it's what they get their milk from and whatnot. So it's a Freudian thing. It's a oral fixation. That's what mm-hmm. they call it. Oral fixation. And Freud believed that that was something like that. So when you grow up and you love boobs so much, it's because you still have that oral fixation. If there's anything else, uh, oh man, I'm, I forgot. I, I took psychology, and psychology was actually one of the fun, interesting classes I took in college mm-hmm. with psychology. I was actually really good at it. Uh, I did a whole paper, and I know I have that essay around here somewhere. I did a whole paper on Trigon for my psychology class, and she gave me uh, A for it because I, when we did this stuff, and it was all about the id, ego, and blah, 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 and all that bullshit, and I just could relate. I was like, boom, Trigon is all that. Trigon is super psychological, as every almost every other anime is. <laughs> Oro would just be a bonus. Kevin, <laughs> naughty boy. Yo, very, very, very naughty boy. Naughty boy. Uh... <sighs> So yeah, that's somewhere around there. I don't know. One day, I always say I'm gonna find it. I think I did find it, and then I put it away somewhere again. So I gotta remember where I found. Get old, get old. I am. But that's not my obsession. My obsession is all this geeky shit. Yeah, that's one thing. And oh, remember when we used to be crazy about collecting artwork mm-hmm. at conventions, and we still got all this artwork like packed away and shit. Mm-hmm. Ah, crap. I just remember that, because I still got that Joker one that we got. The card one that's, Mm -hmm. like, the old and new one? Yeah. Yeah, I still got them. I still got that. And now we kind of, kind of are obsessed with the whole IMAX posters? Yeah. That's that's a thing. That is a thing. I'm kind of pissed off that they brought turtles and shit. Yep. I would do it for the poster. It was too That's late. That's so huh? sad. Now. That was Thursday. Yeah, night. it was Thursday. Fuck. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Let's cry yourself to sleep tonight. <laughs> Why did I get those damn posters? My life is over, Lord Jesus. <laughs> no, it's Lord Jesus. There you go. So them titties. Them titties. <laughs> titties. Just going back to the titties. Because titties, everybody got excited over titties. <laughs> Male, female, everybody love titties. Kids, you said it. Yeah. Kids love tits. The old, the young. Mm-hmm. All about them titties. The, the whole world will come together over tits. I, I would believe it. Yes. <laughs> we'll have a world conference about titties. <laughs> <laughs> world peace will happen because yes. of titties. Yes. We just, just skip the bullshit. And when it comes to these, like, model awards, like Miss Universe or whatever, it's just... Over the tits. That's it. It should just be over the tits. Let's see. Yours, great size, nice dimension, looks like, fluffy. Yeah, like how it bounces. Exactly. Like nice bounce Let's it. see the bounce factor. Mm. I give it a seven. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. It says uh, Travis says reminds me of the little kids who pull their mom's shirt for to get at the. T- it is. Yep, my sister did that several times. Yeah. It was funny because she'll, she'll think that my mom was asleep and she'll be laying in bed. And she's laying right next to her, so she'll look over. I saw her do this one day. She'll look over like, okay, she's asleep. 
that she'll go over. My mom's like, I see you. She'll go over. <laughs> she had to be like a few months old. It was hilarious, though. Oh, damn kids. Uh, yeah, them tits. Let's just face it, guys. Titties are very comfortable to lay on. You know it. They know it. I haven't experienced the joy of laying on some titties. That's I could grow a pair. That just mean I have to get really fat. You want me to be really fat? No, I don't. I love you anyway, but uh huh. That's okay. what you better say. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Man, not all titties. I don't know. I don't it know. It depends on the size too, because it's comfortable at a certain size, and then some sizes you're like, ah, I'm just feeling the bone here. Can big be too big? Depending, because, I don't know. I think a good size is like a C, a D too, but anything above that, I feel like it's too much. But it depends on, like, the shape of the girl too, because, you know, you're a stick figure and then you're trying to have, like, triple Ds and crazy ass shit, and then it's not working. No. That's all, like, proportion out. Unless you're an anime figure, and then yeah, it just then it out. all works out yeah, just <laughs> automatically. Somehow. Game over. Game over, man. And gravity is a motherfucker. That's true. The mm-hmm. bigger they are, the more they, the more they slump down. Yep. Mm-hmm. Slum dog millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the slum dog millionaires. I like to call them. Just call them that right now. On right now, but besides an obsession of titties, which all men I believe are obsessed with titties and boobs, I mean, not titties and boobs, titties and ass. You can't say all men are obsessed with boobs, so no, they, uh, but ass, ass, we could all say, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. my anaconda don't, don't want none. unless, oh, wait, fuck. don't want none unless, unless you got, got buns, hon. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Obsessed with money, yes. People are obsessed with money as well. Yeah, People that's, work a that's lot. one thing. I can't do that. Work more than one job like crazy just to have money. I did it. You did. It was crazy though. It was. I but the like money once. was good. I mm-hmm. have money like every Ooh, fucking week. Balling. I was like, balling. I got my bills paid. Still got money left over. Say what? <laughs> uh, my current obsession. Obsession. I can't even speak. Obsession. My current obsession is, well, okay, I wouldn't say obsession, I'm just really into it, and I always want to play it, it's a destiny, because it's an awesome game, I'll say L- LP is obsessed. Oh yeah, LP was so excited for like weeks on end, he's like, destiny, destiny, I already paid off destiny, I can't <laughs> wait, destiny, destiny, destiny. So he's, he's completely obsessed with it, and, and I am too, I mean, I always want to play, but... I'm not always playing, uh, but it is freaking addictive, and I know for the guys out there listening, I know you had to have cop Destiny as well, because it's like everybody got it, and if you're a gamer, that's the game to get right now, mm-hmm. totally down, even this girl was playing it, she was getting greasy, mm-hmm. killed two knights like it was nothing. And I was like, what? What are we doing? <laughs> All this is cool. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because my guy was already leveled up by that time, but shit. <laughs> Fucking thing was beating my ass. At first. Not anymore. Not anymore. Obsession. I feel like every time I say it, we're like selling like perfume. Obsession. 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 By Mark Jacobs. By <laughs> Mark Jacobs. I don't even know who that is. Ooh. How some girls are obsessed with makeup. You know what? I got that new obsession, but it's all lipstick. Because it's getting, like, colder. I want, like, darker lipstick. And it's been working out, though. Mm-hmm. I've been getting a lot of compliments about the darker shades. A little working. bit too much compliment. Let me tell you what happened at Walmart, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, at Walmart, we're buying some drinks. And this guy, in front of me, start complimenting her and like flirting and shit and I'm like nigga you know I'm right here right (laughs) (laughs) oh man 
But, you know, that comes with the territory, having a fucking supermodel as your girlfriend. I'm not a supermodel. Shut up, you're a supermodel. You're a fucking supermodel. That's all. I'm not hating on you. I'm not face shit up. The thirst is an obsession, though. <laughs> the thirst is an obsession. But the girls get girls be focusing too much on the makeup. Like, there's people who like this. This one chick at work who works the British Airways. One of the I don't know what the hell you call them, but they work up there. The checking okay. girls, whatever. Oh, okay, you know, okay, what, okay. But she comes down for. I don't know, okay, I don't know what their position are. I know there's girls up there who just work the fucking ticketing to get them in. I think they're, like, uh, ticket attendants or something. Something like that. Yeah. But one of them would come down to us. Was it the sh- one that was bitching at LP? Yes, that uh... one. One of them would come down to us and tell us where to drop the bags at, which carousel. Um... And they'll also go where we when if we have to take the plane out to the hard stand, which is like just some spot to have the plane at while there's a gate open. I work at the airport, ladies and gentlemen. I work the ramp, so in case you're all like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Anyways, this chick she wears a ton of makeup, like too much. You know, mm-hmm. like you're you're depending. All your looks on the makeup. I like natural beauty. Hence, I tell you, like, I love your natural beauty. You don't put so much makeup on. It's just a little bit, and then that's it. You're done. Yeah, because I'm just like... I, I guess I don't like the feeling, because um, when you put so much makeup on, it just feels like your face is suffocating, and I don't like that feeling, so I end up just putting on, like, stupid primer, probably something underneath my eyes, and then my mascara and my lipstick, and then I'm done, because I'm just like... <sighs> It's already too much work. I, I, I congratulate the girls that have the time to do it, take the time to do it, but clown it's mask. just too much work. <laughs> just so much clown mass. It is crazy. But this will be, I mean, I've seen... They look like clowns, to tell you the truth. Like, some of them do. It's a, it comes to a point like, okay, some girls can pull it off that they put up so much makeup, but it, it looks like, okay, it doesn't look over the top it looks like okay they they put it on they look great but some girls they be overdoing their eyebrows and they be doing over overdoing their eyeshadow and then they look like a different their face looks like a lighter tone than the rest of their body mm-hmm. WTF <laughs> world trade fuck ups <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> What about the guys? Okay, there you go. There's something right there. What about the guys wearing makeup? The ladies seem to love that. That's so... It's a weird line. I mean, um... I guess, to me, it works for, like, a rock star wearing that man eyeliner, rocking mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. And models for, like, a photo shoot, but every day? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I... I I feel like this. I won't go out with a guy that's wearing more eyeliner than me. I'll just put it like that. <laughs> but um, that's more power to them. But some girls do go crazy for it. They go crazy for that look of, oh, eyeliner and long hair. And he plays guitar at Starbucks for free. <laughs> what about <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow? That's uh. Yeah, that's. That's understandable. He's a fucking pirate, honey. Arg. <laughs> Arg. If I wasn't going to be a cowboy, I would be a pirate. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Nigga, you gay. That would be some of the girls in my hood. Nigga, you gay. <laughs> <laughs> what you walking around here with some eyeliner? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nigga, you gay. I don't know. What's that... <laughs> That was where I got the whole nod Duke from because it was Pharrell talking about Busta talking about some artist who was wearing makeup. He was like, nah, Duke! <laughs> and there it is. The whole freaking history behind that. What if I wore makeup? You don't need it. You like you have like fabulous eyelashes. Mm-hmm. Continue. Fabulous. <laughs> Continue. Fabulous. <laughs> Continue. Your eyebrows are perfectly filled because they're so bushy. And my trademark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Continue. 
What? He just likes compliments. I do. I fish with him. I fucking throw that fucking fish line into the sea and try to get Sometimes more. Sometimes he'll say that, oh, I look like crap today. And I'm like, honey, you look fine. And then I'm like, damn it. Yep. <laughs> yep. And that's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck all y'all. I want that shit. Reminds me of the girls that go on Instagram. I look like crap today. Oh, and then they have like full on makeup, their hair done, and they're in the bathroom like, I look I, like crap today. I talked about that one time. I think it was in a video about, I just hate, these girls look great. And yet they still going like, oh, I'm ugly and I can't get no one and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... Maybe because of your attitude is the way you're doing it. Maybe they yeah. are just fishing for the fucking shit. But it's just, it's annoying. All right, it's like, ah oh, man, it's annoying. Is if I saw even a pretty boy going like, man, I'm ugly as shit. No girl want me. I'm like, shut the fuck up, nigga. You look better than me. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> you got hair. <laughs> you got a full set of hair. <laughs> I ain't got shit. That'll be your main focus. <laughs> yeah. You got hair. You got full shut set of hair. Up. Motherfucker, get shit, faggot. <laughs> it just, oh, uh, it just annoys me. I just, I just hate that. Oh, no one likes me. It's like no one likes a downer. Stop it. Just yeah. Fuck. That's why I had to cut off a friend because of that downer shit. That's true. It got too fucking depressing. I was just like, gosh, I was there supporting that friend. Just got too, too depressing and shit. What happened? No, Kevin WK said, uh, uh, having hair, uh, having hair definitely helps. And this coming from know. a guy who's, like, bald. I don't know. You know what I think? I don't know how I feel about that, because I'm like, uh, to me, I don't really care. I mean, yeah, it's true. I mean, everybody, well, I don't want to say everybody. I think everybody's is. different, though. Yeah. Every- some people are like, ah, oh, that guy has to have hair. And then some people are like, I don't, I, I mean, wait, let me rephrase that. Some girls are like, oh, if I'm going to go out with a guy, he has to have a full set of hair. Or he has to have hair or blah, 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 blah. I won't go out with my bald. And then some people are just like, oh, I don't want a guy longer, <laughs> hair longer than mine. <laughs> well, you got to remember, there's some, like, stars who are bald that girls are just crazy about. Vin Diesel. Mm-hmm. Bruce Willis. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Rock. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, uh, Stone Cold was a big one. Uh, who else? Fucking, um... It worked, uh, uh... You know, there's, there's stars out there that are, that are bald. Me. But there's also, uh... <laughs> Me. <laughs> there's, um... The thing that I always hated, and as a as a kid, Jordan, yeah, Jordan, mm-hmm. Michael Jordan, yes, definitely. You know, a lot of basketball players, matter of fact. Mm-hmm. Uh, Again, those girls. A <laughs> thing that bugged me while I was growing up was, um, I'm a very hairy kid. You know, I from the young age I had facial hair, and that was always. A low self-esteem for me because at that age nobody had that all the girls didn't want that they wanted the clean shaven guy or whatever blah 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 i don't get that because i was just all like mm, hair <laughs> <laughs> my beard oh yeah yeah well, get that it, beard. as i got older i got more comfortable with my body and 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 when i got the beard for the first time I think it was just like an experiment plus it was also I didn't give a fuck and then the reaction I got from that from guys and girls not saying that the guys were hitting on me but I'm just saying oh, like they're hitting on you <laughs> mm, I like me a bear the, <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that the guys who showed a lot of respect yeah that's something, one thing something, about a beard you get respect you do you do get mad respect and the girls will end up liking it but it was weird because it's not all girls because you know there are girls who don't mm-hmm. like facial hair at all they just like the baby look pretty boy and all that bullshit but I always I always found out that the real women are the ones who do love facial hair you know and it was funny because for the majority it was just like older women like very older women mm-hmm. like almost grandmas kind of stuff Stuff that they would be like, ooh, 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 ooh. that was when I was in you. I was like, ooh, he's nice. Ooh, ooh yeah, help me. 
<laughs> and I'll be, me. <laughs> and I'll be laughing. I was like, oh, okay. But, yeah, the, the facial hair does do something. But it does give you respect. That's for sure. And it's funny how I never wanted this. And there's people who actually want the facial hair. And I want it. Yeah, hair. some people... Some guys can't even grow it because they'll be all patchy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And they're growing it. It's annoying. It is annoying. And I'm just all the. Mm. Yeah, you like it. Sometimes I feel like I'm dirty, though. I love it. Be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, is it getting close to that time? It is. Now it's time to say goodbye. Hate this time, especially when we have a really good conversation. That just goes everywhere. It was mm-hmm. supposed to be obsession, then it went to titty obsession, and then to my facial hair. The titty part was the best part, though. The titties. Titties are always great. Titties. I'm telling you, titties, titties could save the world. We had to go to a strip club. We do. We'll do you one. Could, yeah, we had to do it as a group, so you could do your own thing, so I could do my own thing. <laughs> so when all the girls are over on my side, I'll just be like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll send one girl over <laughs> to do your birthday lap dance. <laughs> you know, it'd be nice. Uh, thank you. At least one girl. <laughs> it reminds me of that South Park. Dance. Does anybody want to dance? And they're all, that's when they're playing cops and robbers, and they're taking them. Save the titties, save the world. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the next episode of Heroes. So that's why I'm all for, you know, the whole fight for breast cancer. Because we can't lose them breasts. Mm-mm. No. I'll be sad because I got, I got crazy shit running on my side. So mm. I'm afraid of getting cancer because I got a lot of people that passed away from breast cancer on my side of the family and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So I worry about my titties. <laughs> Tetas, tetas, los, los tetas. Los tetas. Hashtags, tetas. That's T E T A S. Tetas. Tetas. Hashtag tetas. <laughs> hey, save those tetas. Now we should just do another show. We'll have like freaking female guests talk about their sizes and whatnot. I don't think that would be appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell us about your uh, boob size and uh, how th- uh, how it affected your life. My back hurts. <laughs> yes, tell us more. Tell the guys. Tell these that is one to thing, too, about out. big boobs. Your back will hurt. I it heard. is true. I heard. It is fucking What about true. big ass? No, nothing. You, <laughs> you take up two seats. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So in the end, woman, go get your breasts checked out. And woman, go get to... I mean, and woman. Woman, go get your testicles checked out. No, men, go get your testicles checked out. <laughs> You'll know someone who got some balls, you know. <laughs> and woman, go get your pres- breasticles checked Breast- out. <laughs> and, oh, you know, testicles. make sure nothing's happening. <laughs> but uh, uh, sadly, this is the end of the show. We have to call it a night. But thank you for everyone listening, uh, joining in once again. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, it was a little bit late. Uh, thank you, Travis and Kevin WK, for you know, being part of it in the chat. Uh, yeah, catch you next time. If you want anything to be discussed, just leave it at my Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash Lord Nastradamus. And we'll make sure to talk about it next Saturday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, um... You just go find my page because I might be doing a giveaway soon. Oh, she giving shit away. And that's how we end the show. <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen.